Hi guys and welcome back to Sparaho Madrid. My name is Daniela. I'm showing you three bedrooms today in a very very big apartment in Arguelles. We're in a very nice area of Madrid. We're right next to a Sara and a Corte Inglés. We're very very near the center. It's a beautiful area of Madrid. And today I'm showing you bedroom number 5, bedroom number 12, and bedroom number 15. So 15 bedrooms in total in this apartment and those are the three available right now. I really think you're gonna like it. Come with me. Okay guys, so right now we're standing by the front door. This would be the entrance uh, hallway. And as you can see, we have bedroom one, two, and three over here, which we're not checking out today. And what we have here, bedroom six, bedroom four, and this is one of the available rooms right now. There's some, my things are under the bed. Let's not check on that, okay. So as you can see, we have a comfy bed over here. We have a nightstand with a night lamp. Over here we have a coat hanger, a full length mirror, and over here we have the closet. Which is, you know, pretty spacious closet right here. And over here we have a desk and a little rack to hang things. And look at this view. Let's check out, let's wait for it to so you can see, we're in a very, very nice area. It's still pretty quiet in spite of the traffic, but it's a beautiful area. We're right next to Sara and um, Corte Inglés. It's a beautiful area. As you can see, we have hardwood floors. Everything's very, very nice. Look at this baby nightstand, it's so cute. So back to the main entrance. We have full-length mirrors over here. Always nice when you're leaving to check yourself out. Now over here is another available bedroom. This is number 15. Let's check it out. Full length mirror over here. And over here we have a single bed. And we have a desk, a nightstand, a, um, a night lamp, and a shelf. And over here we have this closet space over here. And we have a window that goes to an inner patio. So this would be the window right here. Your view. Let's check it out. Slow pan. Everything looks so nice when it has hardwood floors, doesn't it? And the walls are like a slight off-white, sort of like a grayish color, which makes them seem, you know, it feels, doesn't feel cramped at all. Beautiful. Okay, we walk down the hallway and over here we have a toilet. This is not a full bathroom, it's just a toilet. But it's, since we were sharing with a lot of rooms, it's always nice to have some extra you know, space. We have a small sink right here. It's really cute with some storage space right here. We have a window right there. Some shelving, little, you know, hang to hang towels. And of course the toilet and a window that's letting in a lot of natural light. Over here, this would be bedroom number one. This is a full bath. As you can see, we have the toilet, obviously. We have a window, which goes to the same inner patio. And here we have a shower with a removable shower head, some space for, you know, your toiletries, for your shampoo. And over here we have a sink with a small shelf here for your things and a mirror and some racks. There's also some storage space over here. So if you're in bedroom number five or 15, which are the ones that we just saw, you would probably use mainly this bathroom and the toilet. This would be bedroom number seven. It's already, it's unavailable right now. We go down this hallway room number eight, and over here we have bathroom number two, another full bath. So as you can see, it's a pretty spacious bathroom. On well, my foot compared to the, the space we have available. And we have a toilet, obviously. Big window letting in a lot of natural light, which is really nice. And over here we have a sink. It's really interesting that it has this like on the side, I like it. And we have some storage space right there. And again, we have the mirror. And over here we have another shower, glass doors, as well as the other one, which is always much nicer than, you know, than having the shower curtain. And it's a removable shower head that you can put here, and some place for, you know, your shampoos and whatnot. And we also have this little cart over here for, you know, obviously the toilet paper, soap, whatever you need, and some racks. And this is a big, big window. And over here we have the kitchen, which as you can see is ginormous. We have this really nice detailing on the floor, which is this sort of like tile-like situation. 
and as you can see, it's humongous. So first of all, we have here a lot of counter space. If you're someone who likes to cook, counter space is very important. And over here, we have these numbered cubbies for depending on the room you're in, you each have your own. Over here, now you're gonna try to open because they're clearly locked. And over here, we have um, not one, but two electric stove tops with three stove tops each. And of course, it's a fully equipped kitchen. We have pots, we have pans, we have cutlery, we have pantry space over here. Let's check it out. So plenty of room for you to keep your things over here. Over here we have the washing machine and the kitchen sink for you to clean all your stuff and this is sort of like the cleaning supply corner. We have more space over here for, you know, putting your dishes to dry and more space over here. And we have the microwave and some shelving over here. Toaster, coffee maker, plenty of space and for all your cooking needs. So you can cook your own food, you can get together with your roommates and cook some stuff. Definitely a comfortable kitchen. Over here we have other rooms. We have 13 and 14 which are unavailable, but we have another full bath here. As you can see, we have big sink right here with some shelving for your toiletries, mirror, and some you know, storage space over here, and as well a cart for the toilet paper right there. We have the toilet, also, I really like that all the rooms have sort of like light coming in, and we have the shower much in the way of the other ones, glass door, removable shower head, and some space for your shampoos. And over here we have sort of like some closet space for some extra stuff. And I believe that door is another main door that can be used. I'm not sure if it's available to use, but it goes to the hallway and to the elevator. Okay, so continuing on, we're gonna go to this common area right here. It's a dining common area. And the first thing you're gonna see here is that we have not one, not two, but three fridges over here for your use. And over here we have a table for your dining needs. You want to eat here very comfortably. And in spite of it having all, almost all the rooms rented, except for the three that I'm showing you, it's actually a very quiet apartment, at least right now in the middle of the day. So this is, let's check it out, the dining area. Slow pan for dramatic effect. And let's check out the last room that I'm showing you today, room number 12. You open here, as you can see, it's a little more spacious than the other two. We have a full double bed over here, let's see, which looks really nice with this hardwood floor, I'm a fan. And over here we have some shelving, some, um, what do you call these, um, hangers. We have a desk right here, and we have a pretty big closet, a lot of closet space here. Real nice. Over here. And we have a window. Right now the shades are drawn, but it goes to an inner patio. So no one can really see you from here. But really, really nice. And that would be it, you guys. Well, guys, that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.